All right, you guys, we have another Mini for sale, and this one is terrific. I love this car. This is a 1967 Mark II Austin Mini Cooper S, a legit Cooper S, numbers matching, with really cool stuff on it. And that's right, I said 1967 Mark II because I have the Heritage Certificate, and it was born December of 1967. It's titled as a 67, but it's a Mark II. This is one of the very first Mark II Cooper S's ever built. And I can't wait to show you today because I'm actually gonna introduce you to the owner. Well, let's call him the previous owner uh, because he's here today and we're gonna ask him a lot of questions. But I want you to know how much this car is. This car is $30,000. And wait until you see what you get for $30,000 on a real Mini Cooper S. So let's meet our friend, Jack Barbera. Jack, come on in here. All right, good to see you again, my friend. Good to see you. All right, so Jack here actually bought this car from us two years ago, and he's had a lot of fun enjoying this car and tricking it out and bolting on the cool stuff. So, Jack, uh, why are you selling the car? Other projects, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's time. It'll, yeah, it's time. Yep. It'll, it'll be sad to see it go, but yep. it's time. But you told me you were remodeling your house and you yep. wanted some more room in the garage, so that's usually the case, isn't it? Yep. But this is your opportunity to own a really cool car. So let's start at the front and let's start with the engine and I'll pop the bonnet here. But you see here, we got the genuine Mark II Austin Cooper S badge, all right? And this has all the right stuff. This is sort of a, a beautiful pearl white paint. And I really like it with the, the contrasting flat black roof, the rose petals. I mean, it's just checking all the boxes for me. So what do we see here? Well. Uh, we've got a mini fin alloy valve cover with the matching VIN tag, matching engine tag, uh, twin inch and a quarter SU carburetors with some less le Weston velocity stacks. That's right, less Weston velocity stacks with some Piper Cross socks on them. That's a very period type thing to do back in the 60s. You would have done that. Uh, the original generator, the original voltage regulator, I mean, the, the original fresh air intake. This is this is a real Cooper S. It's got the hydroelastic suspension and I've driven it. It's pretty awesome. You're gonna find out when we go for a ride. I love the hydro suspension. It is really trick. Now we did pump it up. When Jack bought this car from us, and we're gonna tell you the numbers, he paid 30 grand for it and we're selling it for 30 grand. But immediately we did $5,000 worth of work to it. We replaced the steering rack, we did brakes, we did all kinds of stuff. We pumped up the hydro suspension, we serviced it and made it run perfect, right? Well. Then you threw rose petal wheels at it. But not just any rose petals, you put the center caps on them too with Dunlop R7 tires. Look at this. So yeah. where'd you get those centers? Those came off of the MK1 form that I ordered from the UK. Oh, right on. Yep. Those are so trick. Maybe we should start manufacturing those They're here. Pretty eh? sweet. Um, Dunlop R7s with rose petals, a meatball on the door. Come on around here. Look at this. I love the real deal. And this car is shiny, it's bright, it's clean. No rust, no rust on this car. Genuine Mark II uh, badges, twin tanks, Mark II tail lights, the 1275 badge. Now I removed the boot board out of here because I wanted you guys to see, and I'll put the boot board back so you can see it, but you can see all the factory original Cooper S boot board, Cooper S right hand gas tank brackets. All, this is the real deal. Genuine Cooper S wheel with the real hold down. This is, this is quality stuff, guys. This is like, this is the real thing. Back here, you can see the original boot board. This is not an aftermarket or replacement. This is original with the brackets that's clicked in and it's sitting on the buffers. It's got the slots back there that it's in. This is correct. So there you go, a real boot board. Um, swinging hinged license plate. If you're an Oregon buyer, SP plates, that's a big deal. I love the, the shiny gas caps. Uh, Everything on this car mechanically has been done. This is turnkey, all right? Some more of the numbers. So these receipts here, and you've got a lot of them, don't you, Jack? Yep. We added it up. We're at over, just over $45,000 in this car, and it can be yours for $30,000. I say the price a lot because you people always seem to text me, email me, <laughs> call me, how much is it? $30,000. I'm going to say it a lot. All right. All right. What I have here is the heritage certificate. Come here. The VIN number is CA2SBL1088638-A. 
all right? Here's the engine tag. This is a real S motor. You can tell by the distributor, the soft plug size, the diameter of the soft plugs. Of course, that number plate, the 11 stud cylinder head with bolt and not, no stud uh, on the cylinder head. This is a 12G, once, or excuse me, I'm sorry, AEG 163 cylinder head. Um, that's all Cooper S stuff, really cool stuff. Um, this car originally is a left-hand drive North American export, basic. Almond green and snowberry white was the original color. Trim was black. Built the 12th of December, 1967. Um, fresh air heater, here it is. And a vehicle built to USA specifications. Now, that's true because these records indicate that this is a California car. This car was sent immediately to California. And judging by the history, you showed me this, Jack. We think the mileage is real, isn't I, it? I think the mileage is real. We've got a lot of paperwork in there that has repair receipts from California with the odometer showing. And so, yeah. It has 94,000. Not 90, 90. Let's look. <laughs> hang on, hang on. 93.5. There it is. 93.5, original miles, documentation to prove it. The engine has been rebuilt. Um, it doesn't leak, it doesn't smoke, and it's fast. Wait until you check this out. Come here, I want to show you these Speedwell seats that he put in here. Look at this. Isn't that cool? There's also some more cool stuff in here. That's a John Alley roll bar. So you see this right here? John Alley. This is the real stuff, man. This is cool. Look at this steering wheel. This is going to blow your mind. This is a smoking John Rhodes steering wheel. I have never seen a John Rhodes steering wheel, but this is the real one. This is it. And if you don't know who Smokin' John Rhodes is, Smokin' Rhodes, they call him that because he was always smoking the front tires on the Mini in uh, England, and it's super cool. We'll throw in a video clip for you. Your drive car is a very, very safe vehicle when you have the 70, 75 horsepower. But, you guys want to go for a ride? Let's go check it out. All right, here we go. First off, this has the classic... Mini Cooper smell, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> the driving position is great. These seats are comfortable, and this steering wheel, oh, I'm gonna steal it when you're not looking. It's got your setback. Uh... <laughs> it's got our jet motor seat yep. brackets, that helps. I mean, this seat goes way, holy mackerel. If you're over six foot, maybe even closer to seven foot, you're gonna fit in this car because this seat is already touching the back seat, and I can't reach the pedals right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have to move it up. There, that's comfortable. All right, let's go. First off, that oil pressure needle just went to 100. Yep. And this is warm. The car is warmed up. Great oil pressure. I love that tachometer. That is a real square digit Smith tachometer from the 60s. It is. Super cool. Yeah. I like the switch extenders. That's neat. You know, I do all this maneuvering around so people can hear the transmission, see that everything works, and uh, everything works on this car. Uh, you spent a lot of time on these windows, didn't you? Yeah. I am looking at these felts, and look at this. The window slides easily, it locks, it latches. And Jack, I am really impressed. That is, oh, it takes an experienced mini guy to do these window felts in a Mark I, Mark II correctly. Good job. Thank you. First off, this car is fast. That, we were going uphill there. <laughs> the hydro suspension, oh. If you've any, if you watched any of my videos, you know that I ooh and ah over the hydro suspension. Feel that? We're going over some big bumps. Yep. That Smooth is, and straight. That is really cool. All the original vinyl covering on the upper and lower dash, the defrost surrounds, draft excluders. Um, this is a nice car. I, I can't get over there's no rust and it's this old. And yeah. it's all original. Southern California. <laughs> can't beat it. Yep. 
and you kept it garaged and covered and oh, yeah. pampered ever since you had it. Yep. So right from California to a snuggled garage in Portland, Oregon. There's the horn. Yep. It's not on the center horn push. The Mark II started with the end of the turn signal stop. Wow. This car has got some torque. The transmission feels new. Yeah, it's super smooth. The brakes are outstanding. And I didn't even mention it, but that throttle pedal, that yeah, is a special a throttle pedal. Original Speedwell. You got a lot of Speedwell stuff on this. Got to make it right. <laughs> got to be period correct. I like driving this car. All right, let's recap the cool stuff. Less, less than velocity stacks. Yep. John Rhodes steering wheel. Yeah. Uh, is that made by Motolita or do you know who makes the John Rhodes I, steering I wheel? Yeah. I don't, I've never seen one. The John Alley roll bar. Yeah. Rose pedal wheels with the center caps and Dunlop R7s. Boy, if you want a fun car, a real good rest, check this out. We're doing 70. This car hauls. <laughs> That's good. This is great, man. You probably never drove it like this, did you? <laughs> Wow, Jack, you're gonna miss this car. I will. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's your turn, ladies and gentlemen. $30,000 gets you a whole lot of Mini Cooper S. You know, I bet you if we put this on Bring a Trailer to get a lot more than that. But you're okay. Yep. You're okay with that. Yep. Remember, I get 10%. Yep. He's getting the rest. So. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You know you want this car, don't you? I know I do. I, I said this in our last video. If I buy another Mini, I think my wife is going to send me to the motorhome. So <laughs> I, I seriously, I would buy this car back from you, Jack, in a heartbeat. Um, this thing's awesome. There was your ride in a hydroelastic 1967, almost 68, uh, Mark II Austin Mini Cooper S with 93,509 original miles. However, the suspension's been done, yep. the engine's been done, the transmission's been done, the brakes have been done, wheels and tires. It's a new car, but it's old. It's got all the correct bits on it. The cool stuff. That's right. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. $30,000, and it's all yours. You better call me quick, because it's not going to last, is it? That's right. All right. See you on the next one.